the captain's chair. Gotcha, yeah. people. <laughs> got you. All right, good job. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, yeah, so uh, he's actually going to be the manager. We, we just had Dave Tremley on, and uh, Rivera is going to be the manager of the Frederick Keys. And the Keys are like a small town, baseball, yeah. like we were talking about. And uh, he just signed on to become – this is his first managerial job. So uh, let's, uh, let's, let's bring him in. He's been sitting here so quick, uh, nice uh, – Nice and calmly. Here's uh, Renee Rivera, the uh, new manager of the Frederick Keys. So, hey, Renee, how you doing? Thank you so much. I'm a big Met fan, and when I saw you signed up with the uh, Frederick Keys, I'm like, got to get a Met guy on. Let's roll. Yeah, let's get it going. <laughs> no, first of all, thank you for having me, Chris, Adam, and Hamad. I really appreciate the opportunity. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the new uh, chapter in my career. Um, being the manager of Frederick Keys and uh, having the opportunity to work with young athletes uh, coming up uh, toward, uh, toward the draft league. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm really excited for, uh, for, the, for the challenge. Yeah. Well, talk about your we – I was looking at your career. You got drafted by the Mariners. So the Mariners in 04. And then you spent two, two stints with the Mets. So one stint was you're only up there for a couple games and they – they let you go waiver, and then the second time around, you were there for a little bit longer, you know, helping out the Mets. So, what did you learn playing in Queens? Um, you know, uh, the challenge. I think the challenge. The fans uh, uh, ask for a lot about uh, the players. They want you to do good. They uh, they uh, they really push you to do uh, the best. So, you know, I really enjoy my time there. Um, I always say that uh, uh, New York made me a better player. A better person because uh, um, I have to give a hundred percent every day, uh, and, and you know you you know that as a baseball player you're, ne you're never gonna uh, have a uh, always have the 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 good days. So uh, you have to be honest with them. You have to be honest with the media. Uh, when you have a bad day, you gotta tell them you know uh, you know I messed up. I do this wrong. So and and then the people would take care. Uh, you the the fans would take care of you. So um, yeah, I love my time in the Mets. Um, uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, be around uh, really good players. You know, Cespedes, Noah Syndergaard, Jacob Degrom. Mm -hmm. Be be by Terry Collins. You know, uh, uh, help me out uh, throughout my my career there. So you know, this this is a special a special team, a special uh, uh, time to spend there. I always keep uh, New York in my heart. Yeah. Talk about um, catching Degrom. What was it like catching him? I know he was uh, he was a, such a fastball pitcher. He you know he he could clock up like 100 miles an hour in a heartbeat, but he got injured more often. So what was it like, you know, catching him behind the plate? Well, Jacob, I knew Jacob since he got called up. Uh, um, you know, always uh, have that good fastball. You know, he mature as a pitcher. Um, he uh, he knows that uh, uh, he can pitch only fastball. So. You know, he developed that that little slider. You know, sometimes looked like a cutter, but it's still a slider. And uh, sometimes he threw that change up to lefty. Um, uh, and he become a, a, the star that he is. I think that injuries uh, um, we take him away for a, for a couple of games. Um, hopefully, he he's healthy this year and he can pitch uh, all, all the whole season. But Jacob is a special arm. Um, it's a special player. And uh, hopefully he win uh, many uh, side youngs. Yeah, and you got a question? Go ahead. Yeah. Um, what was it like to? Um, now you play with the Mets. Um, a predominant Atlanta Braves fan. So, um, what was it like to? What was it like to play against the Atlanta Braves when you were a member of the New York Mets? Because that rivalry is a pretty big one, Renee. I know. I know. Yeah, it, it was tough. I mean, Braves always have a good team. And uh, you know, been playing against the Braves since my before the Mets. Uh, you know, with other teams, and you know, when, uh, when they always get good players, they uh, they did have you know downs a couple a couple of them. But now, you know, when you go there uh, as a player, when I was there, um, you know, you have to you have to battle. They're gonna battle, you know, with the young athletes they have, and. Uh, you know that's a special group. I spent time there. I spent three months there. We went to the playoff together um, uh, on one of the years, and uh, you know, uh, special group, special talents. I think I think they're gonna miss uh, Swansom. 
uh, this year, but they got the young kid um, uh, coming up uh, that is really, really good too. So, um, uh, in Grissom, Grissom is the, the, yes, the young yes, kid they, yes. they, they're going to have now. So, there's a really good guy, a really good talent. So, hopefully, breakout season with them, you know, have a good year. And you always see as a, as a New York fans or, or National League East fan, um, you know that you have to battle against Atlanta, Mets, and Philly. Amen. Amen yep. to that. Exactly. Hey, don't forget about the Marlins. Yeah, they just show up. And the Marlins. Uh, honestly, yeah. I always say Marlins is a, sne- a, sneaky, play- a sneaky team. Yeah, you know, they, 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 don't have, they don't have a big-time name. But they they do play the game hard, play the yes, game right. Do. So yes, you, know, we, you you cannot sleep. Uh, you can you can't sleep on the Marlins either. Yeah. Well, with the World Baseball Classic coming up in was it a week or from from now or two weeks yeah, from now? Yeah. yeah, you were there in 2017 with the uh, Team Puerto Rico. You, know, you won a silver medal. Are you going to help them out again this year? Well, right now, yeah, I'm, hem- I'm helping him out. Um, you know, uh, I got the, the opportunity to work with uh, the Federation. Okay. Um, I'm doing the uh, oversee the quality of the uniforms and on, on the stuff that players going to wear on the oh, field. Nice. Cool. So, uh, you know, I spent the last six months uh, talking with the Federation, talking with the players, you know, giving feedback about the new uniform they're going to use. And you guys see, uh, I don't know, you guys see, in the in the social media, they they wear Adidas, so yes. Yes. it's another another kind of uniform. I mean, they used to wear Nike, or they you they 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 wear Nike in the big league, so it's just a little bit different uh, material. So I was the guy that you know they call, hey, you are the guy that play there. You know what the players like, what the players don't like. So can you help out uh, with the uniform? So I say, hell yeah, you know I do anything for. For Puerto Rico, you know, uh, I'm, uh, I'm there. So even uh, in a couple of days, uh, we have to head down to Fort Myers. I'm doing right now TV uh, uh, for Puerto Rico, MB Sport TV. I'm doing that covering the WBC, and we're going to cover Team Puerto Rico. So I'll be I'll be there with uh, with the team. Cool, yeah. cool. Wow, I was looking at the, yeah, I was looking at the roster. This is 2017 roster. This is like an all star team. If you just want to look at it. You got Carlos Carrera, who's almost been a Met, maybe besides the, we know what happened there. Um, you have uh, Baez, who was there for a cup of coffee with the Mets. You got uh, Edwin Diaz, you know, the Mets closer, you know, just, you know the guy who brings out the uh, the trumpets. You gotta, gotta love the trumpets, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then this is this is your manager, this is your bench coach, coaches, Adam. Carlos Gallagher is a hitting oh. coach. Then in bench coach, Carlos Delgado has the bench coach, bullpen coach, Juan Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah. That was the like, 17, yeah. Oh, my God. This is like an all-star team. It's like to the point, like, and how did you guys just win a silver? You should be smacking the crap out of people. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, we, we, did, we did play, we did play uh, right. I think that uh, the tournament is a uh, is short tournament, so anything can mm-hmm. happen. Uh, we, play, we, play, uh, we play hard. We play for Puerto Rico. Right. Um, we beat USA. Uh, we've been Netherlands to make it all the way to the final, but we we can we have to tip the hat to Team USA. They got a really really tough team on Marcus Stroman now pitching for Puerto Rico now. Oh, um, really? Mm-hmm. And uh, um, uh, Marcus Stroman did a, a really good job uh, holding those All Star bats. And uh, um, you know, we'll see. Today, this year is a different story. We got a mix of young players. And uh, veteran players that are going to be in the team this year, even have we have Marcus Stroman now on our side, so we as yeah. a guy we have we we can we don't have to face anymore. Uh, so you know, I'm looking forward for the this WBC. I think Team Puerto Rico have a a really good chance to go all, all the way through uh, the end, but we have to we have to go through Dominican Republic and Venezuela team. Oh, and, yeah. You know, yeah. I would yeah. not I would not take away. Israel or Nicaragua, they got really good team too. So, mm-hmm. or 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 pool division, division T, I, uh, D, I think it's uh, going to be hard, going to be uh, interesting, and going to be fun to watch. Oh yeah, it seems like it's one of those must see TV, and it's on. Uh, it's on. It's going to be on ESPN, and I think Major League Network will do. We'll we'll cover a couple games, but it's still great to see. All, and I wish they could bring it back to the Olympics. 
because this is what Olympic baseball is, you know. And yeah, so it's okay to have a power team like we have in the in the NBA, you know, you know the dream team and all that stuff. But you know, Team Puerto Rico has like a dream team and let them play in the uh, in the in the uh, you know Olympics. Exactly. I think I think that they they have to bring it back. I think baseball, um, uh, you know, for for us as a, as a fan, for us as a player, we love this game so much and uh, have the opportunity to go to Olympic. It's a special. I think that there's so uh, uh, little percent of people in the world can be Olympians. So I think that bringing baseball back, I think you're going to see more start enjoying um, uh, the Olympics and having, you know, play for their team. I think that the work, I will say, I always compare this as a World Cup of soccer, a uh, mm-hmm. FIFA, that, you know, they stop the league and every every player go to the federation and play. So this, they, this is a kind of like the same. I think that uh, um, if they bring back uh, baseball to Olympic, I think uh, we're going to lose the WBC, but it still will, give, will be good for, for people to go uh, um, and um, uh, participate and play for their, their country. Yeah. Well, I've been to Puerto Rico, uh, this is years ago, and I, I got a history lesson down there. You know, I was down there with a friend and uh, seeing all the uh, different places where you guys play baseball. And, you know, that stadium there in, in San Juan looks like a, a miniature version of the Royal, Royal Stadium out there in Kansas City. And, you know, let's talk about, you know, this, you know, Puerto Rico, how the history of baseball, people don't realize the history of baseball is in Puerto Rico. And mm-hmm. all these kids who play hard, they travel, they do the stuff like you did, you know, growing up there in that beautiful island. And, you know, people don't realize that you guys are on top of each other. You, there's no yeah. room. There's no room for you guys to do whatever. I don't know how you guys play baseball with the neighbor next door on top of you. But, <laughs> you <know? laughs> but just talk about you growing up in Puerto Rico and then the challenges that you had to face to play, you know, the game that you love, baseball. Yeah, you know, first of all, um, uh, we in the Caribbean, so uh, we got a good weather to play uh, whole year round. So that's that's the good thing for us. Also, I mean, as a as a Puerto Rico, we see and we grew up watching or listening to the story of Roberto Clemente. Roberto Clemente was our idol. He was uh, uh, one of the first Puerto Rican players that you know uh, play in the Major League Baseball. Also get to 3,000 hits. So, you know, Roberto opened the door for us as a, as a Puerto Rican player, as a Latin American player, and, uh, you know, the good teams in and out of the field that he did. So we, we kind of, like, followed that, 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 that route, you know. And then, you know, when I was a kid, you know, watching Benito Santiago's catching, one, uh, watching Posh Rodriguez catching, for myself was like, I want to be the, I want to be him. I want to be... Uh, a posh. I want to go work hard uh, and play and try to get signed as a professional athlete. So I think that the kids in Puerto Rico they look uh, they look to uh, major league baseball players right now and they they dream about being them. So that's what they make you know Puerto Rico the beautiful island that you know everyone to be a, a baseball player and uh, you know it's a small island. Um, we kind of like, you know, knew each other, you know, in the baseball war. Uh, so, uh, we push each other to be best. I think when I, when I was, uh, 17 years old before I signed pro- professional baseball, Jari and I, Jari Molina and I would play in the same team. And, uh, you know, as an amateur, and we challenge ourselves. Let's see, you know, we go today, let's see who throw harder to second base, <laughs> you know, who, who can hit the ball farther. So. That's the good thing about uh, you know Latin players. We we want we like challenge, uh, and we we like to compete. So that's why you see you know many Latin players uh, coming out of the you know the country uh, and uh, represent their their country in the M- in the MLB. Yeah, well, like you're a catcher. I grew up wanting to be a catcher because of Gary Carter. You know, because Gary Carter was such yeah. a hard hard nose. He loved the game. He played tough. You know, I heard stories. I met some met some former Expos and. You know, heard stories that he, uh, you know, like almost ran through, ran through a wall <laughs> by accident out there in uh, West Palm Beach during spring training in right field. That's why they moved him as a catcher. But, you know, he taught me as a kid growing up to work hard and, yeah. and, and enjoy what you do. You know, yes, you're going to have days. You're going to be, 
you know, depressed. And some days you don't, you go over four and you strike out three times and you got people yapping on you. You go, Hey, Ray, what, what are you doing? You know, and all that stuff, you know, but you got to, you know, work, you, know, you got to get that off your shoulders and go, all right, tomorrow's a new day, a new chapter. And, you know, let's do it. And the next day you hit two home runs and drive four, four, you know, get four RBIs and everything's good in the world. You know, that's no, what that, I, I, I agree. I agree with you. I, I, you know, that's, a, that's, that's, uh, the beauty of the game, the beauty of baseball. And that's one, one thing I always say from a Puerto Rican player, you know, uh, we all know that, you know, autonomy in Puerto Rico is not great. And uh, one of the access that we have as a young players is, you know, if, if we sign pro, uh, you know, professional baseball and we go throughout the system and we make it to the big league, we can take, take care of our family. So that's why you see so many, you know, Latin players, so many Puerto Rican players enjoy that trend that, I want to become a, a major league baseball player just because I want to take care of my family. That's true. Let's talk about your new job. We haven't talked about your new job, Frederick. You know, Frederick, Maryland. What was, what was it like getting a phone call from a small town in Maryland that, you know, basically it is a small town, you know, but they love their baseball just like where you were down in, in Puerto Rico. They, they love the Keys from day one when it came around in 1990. You know, so what do you, uh, what are your, what's your expectations there in, uh, there in Frederick? You know, first, you know, it was it was nice. Uh, um, I put my uh, letter, my retired letter, and then the next day they they was the first uh, uh, person to call me. So um, they, and they offered me, you know, I know you just retire, um, uh, but I want you to start um, getting your your coaching career. So you know, I didn't hesitate. I say, okay, let's do it. I love this game so much, and uh, I, I believe I have. Uh, I have uh, knowledge, you know, that I that I can teach uh, young athletes. So, you know, for myself, you know, I'm excited for the opportunity. I can't wait to be in Frederick uh, and start, you know, the season, you know, uh, and I start I start working for 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 the players. I think I'm working for the fans. I think the fans want to see action, want to see good baseball, and uh, they want to win. So. Um, and I'm excited for the challenge. I always love challenge. And uh, like I say early, playing New York is a challenge, and I do love it. So, uh, you know, I'm ready for, for the new new step. Yeah. Matt, you got a question? Uh, yes, yes, I do. So um, congrats with uh, this being your first uh, coaching position. And so, like, like what, what kind of um, past experience as a major league player are you going to use for this coaching position? You know, that's a really good question. I think that, you know, my experience be, be, began around with different managers, you know, since my young career with Mike Hargrove, Bob Melvin, you know, Terry Collins, Kevin Cash, you know, uh, um, uh, Dave Roberts, uh, Bud Black. So I, I learned, you know, paying, being a catcher, you have to pay attention to why, they, you know, their move, the, the way they, they manage the games because – that can affect you as a catcher, how you're going to call the game. So watching them uh, and seeing the different way to, to, to move the game around and, and, move, and make different moves, I think that I learned throughout the process in my, in my last few years as a, as a baseball player uh, that I can take charge. I can, I can be, you know, the guy to help, you know, a team to win. So, you know, you're speaking different stuff, you know, how to – you know, create uh, an environment. I think that the the the, the environment, in the clubhouse, is, is huge. Begin, begin, you know, friends. You begin push uh, and root for each other. You know, play the game hard. Play the game in the right way. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm personally, I like to have fun. So as a players, you have to have fun. If you do all that, work hard. You know, be a good teammate. Have fun. I think you're gonna have success in this game. So. That's one of the things I'm bringing in the table. You know, I think they're going to be a, 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 a bunch of group, a bunch of uh, young players, young athletes coming from college, high school, at least the first half. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm ready for a challenge. You know, I've, I've been talking to, to a couple of their coaches that, you know, I want to make this fun. I don't want to make this about, you know, pressure. Uh, yes, we're going to work hard. We're going to do all our things, but we're also going to have fun. So uh, um, we'll, we'll see. I can't wait. I can't wait for June second, that opening day, and uh, start working. That's cool. 
I do have to ask you one question. Uh, I was looking around on you um, YouTube. There's a lot of videos of you in different you know, places like San Diego and, and Chicago. Chicago, with the Cubs, you hit a grand slam. So how okay. cool is that to hit a grand slam? I have a little clip from that. You know, I found this in the other day. My, or here, on the, here on the program, we find some old clips, and people are like, Whoa, I haven't seen that in years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was awesome. Awesome, man. I, I literally got got there a couple of days before, and they gave me the opportunity to play. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I will say always, you hang it, I, we bang it. So, you know, he got the slider <laughs> with the bases loaded, and I uh, put a good swing. And uh, that was my first grand slam in my career. That's so, awesome. Uh, I enjoyed, you know, my teammate was great. Those, there are a bunch of great guys up there in the in that clubhouse, and they enjoyed, like like they if they hit it. So, you know, really really uh, um, happy for that mo opportunity that I spent in, in Chicago. I always loved the city. I grew up watching the Cubs. Okay. So, um, you know, it was a special moment for me. I had the opportunity to wear the Cubs uniform playing Wrigley and also uh, have a, a, my first career Grand Slam. So it was a special. It was against the Atlanta moment. Braves too, Renee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Renee, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Thanks for uh, being a, such a good friend to, to the show. And we'd love to have you back on. And, and when you get out to Frederick, I'll, I'll stop by and see. I'm only like an hour away from, from Frederick. So maybe I'll take a road trip out there and, and spend some time with you and, and pick your brain because you know i'm an old catcher and i love listening to catchers and, and, and catchers become managers you see the, pa the pattern you know all the, you know you get a, you got a leader you got a leader right in, in the in the dugout that's right that was, thank you thank you guys for having me yes, i really sir. enjoy it um uh, yeah I just come by there i will be there we chat we sit down you know we talk about baseball i, I love talking about baseball so i can't wait for uh for, to get there you know, and I, hopefully I can see you guys there. Yeah, and I like the flag in the back with the key flag. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> nice, yeah, I, got my, nice, I got my team nice. I got my team from uh, MB Sport TV, so uh, they did a, a really like a, like a, a stage. So uh, cool. they, they, they helped me out a lot. So, cool. You know. Yeah, maybe we, uh, we could get together and maybe, you know, you could get us some of those uh, – Puerto Rico uh, shirts for baseball because you know, it looks like you know we're going to root for Puerto Rico because that's yes, we do. yes we yeah, do yes yeah yeah for yeah. sure for sure for sure man I can't wait for that you know March eleven March eleven I think they start so next week know, I'll be there next week. I'll yeah. be there I'll be there sure for them man all right man have a great time and we'll see you in Frederick all right thank you man appreciate it all right see you yes sir Thanks. yes sir good luck all right Rene Rivera former Met Cub Mariner yeah, we got some people. Dude. We had people chiming in during that interview. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, and I didn't have to talk about you know the country Puerto Rico because I did get an opportunity to see that a couple of years ago in my in my previous life. You know, <laughs> we all know yeah. about the previous uh, life. Yeah. How, yeah. How, previous how life. Don't realize that you know Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, those Latin players. Yeah. They know how to play Major League Baseball, especially one uh, who goes by the nickname of Big Poppy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, he uh, does. Yeah. yeah. And, and, Matt, you weren't on. We were looking at the 2017 uh, Puerto Rico roster. It's like a Major League All-Star team. Oh, wow. Yeah. What What was yeah. the roster? Uh, they had, uh, what, Juan Gonzalez as batting coach. Uh, they had uh, uh, Delgado as a Bench coach. Oh, they had, wow. They had um, Molina behind home plate as a you know, catcher. Um, they had Diaz, you know, uh, the closer for the Mets, you know, the closer. Mm -hmm. um, they had P.K. Um, Hernandez, who was a member of the Dodgers. Yeah. Now with the Red wow. Sox. Jorge Lopez. Uh, yeah. Renee, 